Okay, so today what we're going to do is you've seen a lecture on how to do conversions in the metric system and you've seen a video and this is just another helpful exercise to see how you're doing and making sure you're doing these conversions correctly. So what I want you guys to do is go ahead and go to your number seven assignment and quickly go ahead and make the conversions on your paper from one to four and then I'll walk you through those and show you how to do those using the steps that I use to get the correct conversions every time. So a helpful tip would be to begin with the saying <coughs> King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. So I write that down every time so if you see a capital D, that's for your DECA. And sometimes you'll see people writing it with a DA. So depending on which way it's written, the capital D or the small DA, it's the same. It stands for the DECA prefix. So go ahead and do one through four. Pause the video and go ahead and do one through four at this time. Okay, now that you're back, I'm going to go ahead and let's look at number one. So I'm going to go ahead and put my King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And that will help me because I use the scoop method. And so what the first question is saying is that you're going to be going from 2,000 milligrams to how many grams? So 2,000 milligrams equals how many grams? And that's your number one, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, the first thing I'm gonna do is look at where am I, what do I have? I have milligrams, I'm gonna find it. And then where do I need to go? Grams is a base unit and there's no number here, so that's your base unit. So I'm going to be going from the milli to the base. And so I'm going to be going how many spots? One, two, three spots to the left. So I can write that down, three spots to the left. So the next step that I need to do is find out where my decimal is. And when you're looking at the number 2,000, the decimal, that's a whole number. So your decimal is going to be to the right of that whole number. Now you just make those connections. I move three scoops to the left from milli to gram. And then so now I'm going to find my decimal and scoop over one, two, three spots to the left and put my new decimal there. I'll get rid of my old decimal. I can get rid of those scoops and that's going to be my new number. So two decimal is the same as the number two. You can go ahead and get rid of these zeros because they don't carry a value at this time. So what this is saying then, number one is saying that 2,000 milligrams equals two grams. I'm going to go ahead and do the next one, number two. I'm going to use the same method because it gives me good results and those are steps that I can follow every time. So number two says 104, 104 kilometers equals how many meters? So I'm going to do the same thing. What do I have? I have 104 kilometers and I need to get to meters. That's a base number because there's not a prefix here. So I'm going to the base. So how many scoops do I make? So I'm going to scoop one, two, three spots to the right this time. So it's three spots to the right. So when I have 104, I'm going to find 
my decimal, that's a whole number, so the decimal goes here, and I'm going to scoop to the right three spots. One, two, three. This is where my new decimal will go. There's nothing in the scoops, so I fill those with the zeros because the metric system is based on the number 10. So I'm moving those decimals three to the right, I get rid of the scoops, and that is my new number. My whole number is 104, you can put in a comma, 1,000. So what this is saying is that 104 kilometers equals 104,000 meters. Correct. Hopefully you're doing well. Let's go ahead and look at the next one. Again, I can use this system for these conversions and be accurate every time. So number three is 480 centimeters. And I'm going to, I'm converting to meters. So, same thing, I find centimeters the prefix is C, C, and I need to get to the base unit, meter, because there's no prefix. That's right here. So I'm going to scoop once, twice to the left. So I'm going two spots to the left. That's how I move my decimal. So on 480, I know my decimal, the whole number is right here. And I need to scoop two to the left, one, Two, this is my new decimal right here. Get rid of my old one. So my new number is 4.8. So what that's saying is 480 centimeters equals 4.8 meters. Okay, let's look at number four. Number four is 5.6 kilograms. And we're converting it to grams. Follow the steps. I'm going from kilograms all the way over. Gram is a base unit because there's no prefix. So I'm going to the base. So how many do I scoop? One, two, three to the right. So I'm going to find my decimal and I'm going to scoop three to the right. 5.6, there's my decimal. I'm going to scoop one, two, three to the right. New decimal, fill those scoops in with the zeros. That is my new number. 5,600. So 5.6 kilograms equals 5,600 grams. So let's try a tricky one, just a challenge question, and see how you do. And if you get this one, you're good to finish the rest of the assignment. And we will be having a quiz over these conversions, so you want to make sure you understand these and can do these every time. Let's try this, and then once I write this conversion down, go ahead and pause it and answer it, and then I'll flow through it for you. So that is your new problem. It is 0 0.002810 hectoliters. And how many milliliters is that? Go ahead and pause, answer the question. Okay, so you think you have your right answer, you've paused it, you're good, so let's flow through it using the same protocol. So I'm going from hectoliters so I'm going to find hecto, and I need to get to milli, 
liters, and that's all the way over here. So I'm going from the capital H to the M, hecto to milli, and I'm going to move how many spots? One, two, three, four, five. I'm moving five spots to the right. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. There's my new decimal. So I can write that number where the new decimal is. These no longer have value because they're before the whole number. This one I don't need either. So I've got 281. So 0 0.002810 hectoliters equals 281 milliliters. There you go. If you have that, you're good to go. So go ahead and finish the worksheet and we'll get that finished and you can get that turned in by the end of today. Thanks guys.